Shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets On this episode of Demons Row TV We discuss the possibility of three percenters Hooking up with one percenters and MC culture To combat oppression And we get into it on this episode Of Demons Row TV And oh yeah, we ghosting baby My ghosts, my ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to talk about the one percenters, the MCs, the three percenters, everybody joining forces to end the oppression that's going on right now. But the first thing I want you to do, like we always do on this channel, is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on twos doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row follow the souls the ghost page thank you to everybody that's been supporting the demons row clothing big shout to gothic jewelry if you type in the promo code ghosting you get 20 percent off all jewelry any type of jewelry they got you put that pound ghosting in they're gonna hold you down a lot of people been copping it they got really dope stuff i always wear them now my favorite is the isauron like i still it's still my favorite i got so many of them now but the isauron is my favorite one it's really dope the quality so get yours because they support mc culture this week's certified ghost that goes out to from nebraska luna sky very impressed with this lady she's all over instagram she's doing her thing owns her own bike and this is what this culture is about yes a lot of these women are beautiful but it's about the fact that they ride for real they're not just in their underwears taking pictures on bikes and that's what demons road takes pride in so luna sky you are a certified ghost that this week's certified ghost goes out to northeast indiana jazzy jake represent the escorts mc he's an amateur flat track racer he has a hooligan sportster the honda the street bob he got a great profile y'all go follow him jazzy jake you are a certified ghost all right y'all so i want to talk about the possibility of one percenters and three percenters joining forces and for those who don't know what a three percenter is we're going to get deeper into that first so we could get an understanding of why it's a possibility with all the rioting that's going on right now that this could actually happen in real life and basically i'm going to show you first what google says and then what they say about themselves and then I want to get into a little bit more racial divide and how they use these strategies to get people to not defend each other when it's crunch time. So on Google, they say they are American far right militia movement and paramilitary group. The group advocates gun ownership rights and resistance to the U.S. federal government's involvement in local affairs. Now what the three percenters say they are. The name three percenters is derived from their belief that only three percent of colonists took up arms against the British during the American Revolution. So basically they're of the belief, which is, is true. When there's tyranny, only a small select few stand up when it's time. When it's crunch time, everybody freezes up and then the select few stand tall and represent. And that's why we have the freedoms that we have today. If for those who don't know history, 
the majority of the Americans actually fought for the king, for the for the British king against American troops. So it was they believe that three percent of gun owners have that heart, that pride in the country that they will defend the Constitution against anybody. I also have friends that say that they're a racist group, far right, like the like Google says. Let's be real about this. In any movement, you can have any type of people with any kind of belief. So you guys, first off, let me know in the comments your initial thoughts of 3% is if you know them, what is your relationship with them? Do you look at them as straight up races? Do you look at them as confused on the situation? And the reason why I say this is because after this conversation, I want you to let me know how you feel after it and see if it changes how you think at all. Now, my belief is that the media, the government, whoever you want to call them, the powers that be, those above the government want you to believe that it's a black and white thing. And this is why I've done the series that I've done, the Racial Divide series. You can check any one of those out. I want people to understand that this is how they divide us. Now, the three percenters, if you're a person that is of the belief that a three percenter is racist, I'm gonna show you how it works in the media's favor to make you believe that. And I have two cases. One case is a protest, right? The the They're protesting, they're rioting, they're doing stuff like that. So the three percenters show up to support pro-gun you know, marches. The other side is saying, take guns away from the people. So mixed up in that crowd of people that are pro-gun are racist groups right whatever whatever they may be Aryans. i don't know what the exact groups are that were there at this rally but you got people there that are racist and they're saying racist remarks to the blacks that are there but the three percenters are there because it's a pro-gun rally so even if you got some three percenters since they're majority white which they do have black members too you get that side of people that some of them are racist and this is what happens this is how they divide us because guess what that stupid person that's making racist comments and is thinking small when there's a bigger movement they now made it a black and white thing when they're there to support us not taking our guns so you know what happens violence happens or police break it up they keep that line between you so you have that division you have physical and mental division so they got you looking at the three percenters because they're trying to back up pro-gun like they're racist and that's what they do so think about it on the other token let's say you're uh let's say you're whatever group right and the nation of islam is there and they're speaking that the white man is the devil or five percenters are speaking that the white man is the devil and they're going back and forth but you're there for george floyd are you now nation of islam you know what i mean that's what happens that's how they divide you they put people in these circles sometimes they're, they're plants sometimes they're provocateurs that come in and they'll say a racial statement to make that weak-minded black versus white situation you know come to fruition and it's all to take away the guns from the people so i'm of the belief of the three percenters that their cause and i could be wrong about this let me know in the comments like i say i'm just going off the little bit of research that i did and and a judgment that i came off from that research you do your own research and listen some of y'all have had personal experiences so i just want you to not be clouded by issues you know if you may have met somebody that was a three percenter and they was racist towards you i don't want you to say all right you know what but i want to give up my gun rights now because i disagree with them on black and white so i'm not going to protest with them about a real issue because you know what happens in England and places like this, they completely ban guns and then you, they, they oppress you. That's what happens. It's, it's a statistical fact. The places where there are more firearms that are legal are the safest places in the world. The safest suburbs in the world are armed more than whole cities. And that's why cities are so crazy because guns are like almost illegal. They're, they're police stated out. So they want you to believe that, you know, they promote on TV a lot that you know pro gun is like being against life and that's how they take your rights away from you because you got to really think about it how are you going to defend yourself if they come if they've disarmed the populace 
So basically the three percenters of, of the belief that, listen, you have to go by the constitution. Once you break the constitution, you're no longer America. You're no longer whatever you are. So when I say that the one percenters and the three percenters, there might it might be an actual reality that they get together. I think that, well, now that I'm starting to learn, there are one percenters that are three percenters. So, so the lines are getting blurred with that. And you know, with all this stuff with Antifa going on right now, people are standing against that. And that's the type of situation why the government has went after the Mongols because when you have too much power and organization, you can do things like that. You can say, you know what, let's not beef anymore and then kick out a terrorist group or whatever, you know what I mean? So if that's not what they want, if they wanna promote that group or they want that group stirring up stuff to, to push whatever laws that they wanna pass on us to take rights away from us, they have to keep us divided. So what I'm saying is, when I, when I bring up racial divide in clubs, I'm not saying per se that it's bad to run with your own, but if you run with your own, we still got to sit at the table with every other race, whatever whatever club it is. You know, because a lot of people in the last video were kind of hitting me up. Not a lot of people, but some people were kind of hitting me up from black clubs saying, you know, well, they didn't let us in and blah, blah, blah. And listen, I wasn't speaking down on people running with their own. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm saying is, we got to be able to sit down at the table when it comes to oppression, when they're told, when the government is taking it too far, because I'm telling you, they're going to have army at our doorsteps if we keep playing these racial divide games. And also with the Internet, all this this sheep mentality, like anything that gets shared that's a little bit popular, everybody shares it. That whole that whole Blackout Tuesday thing, everybody was sharing a, a black post you know if the government right now wanted to to do anything they could get you to you know follow them they listen they could do anything right now they could do a post with with a with a dog with a black dog dead or something and and a, and a white dog standing over it and you guys would and they would post up a picture with like uh with like a band with the circle with the line across the white dog and the black dog and you guys would make that shit go viral and that's just a stupid for instance but it's what happens and it's so easy for them to control you if they want to pass a law uh any law all they got to do is put these day this day and age if they want to pass any type of law all they have to do is make one post that's controversial and the sheep will promote it for them. They don't even gotta pay for it anymore. They'll just promote it for them. So in this motorcycle club community, I noticed when everybody was scared at home, we was outside. So I believe that there's gonna be a point where one percenters, MCs, anybody that rides a bike who's not, the, you know, not scared to stay home, I think that they legit will be standing with the three percenters when it's all said and done. Because you know, when it gets real, you got to pick your side and listen there's blacks and whites on both sides so you guys got to stop being fooled by this shit like everybody that's out rioting and all that they're not all black there's a whole bunch of white people with them too so you're, you're like racially divided but people are like together racially divided like it doesn't make sense you know what i'm saying so we got to stand for what's right put black and white to the side put color to the side there's people right now a lot of mexican brothers that are in ice facilities that will, were, are getting beat women are getting raped there's a lot of stuff going on in the u.s that's a lot bigger than what people are going crazy over there are people in slavery right now and that's why i say as mcs we need to get more organized we need to get more unity going on with us these wars must end and i say this to all the presidents and shot callers it's time for us to start figuring out how we could protect our neighborhoods everybody because if they oppress one they oppress us all so we need to hold it down and stick together these are the times right now man these are the dark the dark ages man the dark ages are coming back i mean i've never seen anything like this in my lifetime only in books you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about what i'm saying i always you know want to give both sides of the story and i could be 100 percent wrong you know three percenters might be something that you know when you guys let me know in the comments maybe it's not exactly what i think but from the research that i've done i believe that what they're doing is being misconstrued and being used towards racism and we need to think past racism because in and that's just one for instance the three percenters but they do this in all walks of life 
they do it with religion anything they could get you against somebody that will stand together with you and fight oppression they're gonna use that against you so we need to wake up man let's be smart yo big shout to everybody that's been supporting the show facebook banned me so if you're like a ride or die demons road if you one of my ghosts please take this and share this for me share it on facebook share it in the places where i can't reach right now because when you speak about these type of issues and you have any type of influence i'm noticing they kick you right off of, of facebook so i don't know what's going on they still got me on instagram i don't know if i'm gonna get kicked off there soon i try to log on they won't even answer me back like i can't even log on so if you rock with me share this message because somebody up there doesn't want this to be heard and we need to unite thank you for tuning in to demons row tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and know yeah even in the dark times we ghosting baby